This is a production of Cornell University. This is the Scott Henry training system, and we've probably talked about this in class. It's what we call a dynamic training system, which means we have to do an adjustment during the growing season. So we've got uh, four canes, one, two, three, four. And what we do is we position the lower tier downwards. So when we looked at the double guillo, we've got four canes, but everything grows up. In the Scott Henry system, the top grows up, and you can actually see this is what a machine harvested uh, or mechanically harvested block looks like. So you can see what's left here uh, in terms of where the fruit was. So we had a fruiting zone up at the top here, then we have a bit of a space, and then we have a lower fruiting zone here, and these shoots are actually positioned downwards. So they, we come along just after berry set uh, and flip this wire downwards. So they're growing up, then we flip it down and pull these shoots down. As a result, the growth along the bottom isn't always very good, uh, but it gives us this space here in the training system that allows for more light and more airflow. So this is something growers don't always like. It's extra work, but the studies that have been done usually show that this can improve yield while either maintaining or improving fruit composition. So it's a really good system that many growers need to consider using. So I'm going to prune this Scott Henry system and get us down to four canes, two that go out here and two that grow out here. So I was just looking at this uh, to figure out what I was going to use. And remember, I don't want to use bullwood. So bullwood is something that's big in diameter. It has long spaces or long internodes uh, between the buds. And so I looked at, at this shoot right here and I thought, oh, that's bullwood. I'm not going to use that. So I thought, okay, where am I going to cut this out? And I went to look and then I realized, hold on, it's not from this vine. It comes up as if it is. Let's pull this out because it's crazy long. Okay, so this is how long it is, and it's not even from this vine, and it's not from the neighboring vine. It actually comes from two vines over. So this is an absolutely crazy amount of bullwood. I mean, this has got to be 50 feet or something like that. This is what you do not want to see in your vineyard. So I'm getting rid of that. Okay. So I'm going to cut away some of the extra stuff so that we can figure out exactly what we're going to use here. So we'll start with the lower tier first. And remember, we want to keep everything close to the head so that we don't get a, a, a space where we're not going to have fruit production. So I've got a cane here that's kind of gray at the bottom. So I think that's probably not going to be very good. So that's really not a good option for me. These ones here are too far out, so we'll cut those right out of there. Uh, and that leaves this one here, it's a little bit gray, so I'm going to see what else we have for the bottom tier. That's too low, not useful. That would be a possibility, but it's a little bit big with long internodes, so I'm not going to use that either. So to simplify here, we're going to cut this out too. So looking at what we have here, I'm actually seeing a possibility for a cane that could go along this wire. So if I stretch this one out, I've got all of these buds along here that are going to produce shoots. Whereas if I use this one, I'm going, to, I'm going to have this space here that doesn't have any shoots. So I think I'll use this cane to go in this direction. And then along this side, this one doesn't look too bad. I'd like it to be a little more brown. It's a little gray through there. Uh, but it might be my best bet for laying out in that direction. So I'm going to use these two canes. So I'll get rid of this. Cut this out of the way. And that's going to be my first turn along here. So 
So I'll wrap it for now. We'd come back with these cane ties that we use and actually tie these into place a little bit later uh, in the spring. So for uh, here, I think I'm going to use this cane. It's a little gray towards the end, but uh, we're running into this vine anyway. So then what I can do is get rid of this whole thing through here because I'm not going to use anything that comes from it. So I'm going to cut this out. And I think I'll cut it right down. It actually, it looks like it's a root sucker anyway, because here is our graft union. Here's the bulge. And it's actually not coming from the graft union. So this is a mistake. Someone should never have tied this one up anyway, because it could be rootstock material rather than, than fruiting, uh, fruiting wood or cyan wood. So we've got a cane that goes this way. Cut some of this extra stuff out. And a plane that ties out in this direction here. Let me get rid of our old one. This comes from the neighboring vine. I'm going to cut that back. So that comes from the neighboring vine as well. So there's our two canes for our lower tier. Upper tier, uh, it looks like we've got a little bit more choice here. Uh, either of these two shoots right here are probably a possibility. This one might lay out there as well. So I'll cut the rest of this older cane off to get it out of the way so I can see what I've got. So there we go. So that's cleared out of the way. And along here, I know I'm not going to use anything past this one, so I'll get that out of the way as well. And it's tied in there pretty good with a cane tie that I'm going to pull off. There's a lot of vigor in this block, which is why we have some overlap from neighboring uh, vines here because we needed more space to lay out more buds. So cut this out. So this allows me to look at what's really good here. Uh, this is nice, nice brown wood, but it's just too big in diameter. Definitely some bullwood there. That's pretty useless, so we'll cut that right out of there. Uh, I just damaged that cane a little bit as I pulled the other piece out. So it's probably still going to be okay. So that's a good option still. That is probably an even better option. It's a little bit smaller in diameter. And I don't have to worry about uh, that little piece of bark I just pulled off. So I'm going to keep that one. It's from the neighboring vine as is this. Okay, so this one, and I just hit myself in the face with a cane. <laughs> this one, we're gonna tie out this way, and then we've got this one here. It's got what we call a persistent lateral on it, so we're gonna get rid of that persistent lateral. We can leave an extra bud there if we want to make sure we get something in the space, although it's pretty long anyway, so. I'll probably cut right about there. And that is how I would cane prune this Scott Henry system. So we'll come back with some cane ties, tie those down. I've got my four canes. I'll leave that as a renewal spur. And the vine's done, ready to go once we tie it down for the season. This has been a production of Cornell University. On the web, at cornell.edu.